I want to talk to you about a free tool that I think could be useful for bloggers. It's called ideogram.ai. It's an AI image generation tool. It's free for you to use. Uh, there are a few caveats I'm going to mention, but it makes very good images. And the one thing that Ideogram really excels at is if you notice this image here, it says Marlene. Somebody's put their name here. One thing AI image generation tools have a really hard time doing is putting titles on top of your images. So let's say you were doing a blog post called Blogging Tools for Beginners and you wanted to create an AI image, like a banner image for that post, and you wanted to have the term Blogging Tools for Beginners actually in the AI image itself. Most tools have a really tough time with that and end up messing up that phrase you know, the letters are mismatched. It just doesn't make sense. And so that's why Ideogram is very popular, particularly with the folks that are building AI images to use on t-shirts where they're putting phrases on a t-shirt, for example. But I think it's got a lot of use for bloggers. Many times when you're using your blogging tools, they will add AI images for you, but they're not all perfect. And sometimes you need to go in and generate a new image. Ideogram would be very helpful there. And so here are just some of the images that you can see. They're pretty detailed. And the one thing that I wanna point out is Ideogram will make images with trademarks on it. Like here's the Nike swoosh, right? This is pretty cool. You know, it created this AI image. It says, have a blessed day designs. That's pretty hard for most AI image tools to create. Here's another one. It's a good day to do some arts. So my guess is somebody created this because they want to use that image and put it on a t-shirt, for example. This is very popular with people that are doing print-on-demand t-shirts. So one thing I want to mention quickly is if you notice here, here is an image somebody created. Notice it's using the term Disney, right? You do want to be careful when you're using these images. Now, I am not a trademark lawyer. I don't pretend to be one, but in your terms of service with Ideogram, it does say that as part of your terms of services, you may be able to input, post, upload, and submit information. They don't claim any ownership rights. They claim we do not restrict your ability to use user output for your own purposes, including for commercial purposes. So that's why this is so popular with t-shirt creators is anything that you create, you can use for commercial purposes, but you do need to be careful that you're not creating AI images that are infringing on people's trademarks, right? So that's the big deal. When you create something, just make sure that there are no trademarks on it and you end up getting yourself in trouble. Here, for example, is a VW van with a VW trademark on it. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just letting you know that with any AI image tool, you need to be aware of copyright infringement issues that could occur if you create images that have trademarks that you don't own. When you use Ideogram, every image you create will be publicly viewable here unless you upgrade your plan. So like I said, it's free, but if you don't want your images to show up here, if you don't want your username to show up here associated with the images, you'll wanna upgrade your plan. It'll even show the prompts that were created to create this image. So everything is publicly available. So when you're using something for free, that's what you can expect. Now, if you want some privacy, you don't want everybody seeing your images, you don't want everybody seeing your prompts, but there's a basic plan, there's a plus and a pro plan. And really what it's going to do for you is it's going to hide the images from the public view. It's going to hide your prompts and everything is going to work faster. There are times when Ideogram can be slow to create an image. For example, in this basic plan, 400 priority prompts a month and 100 slow prompts a day. If you're just on a free plan, you get 20 slow prompts a day. So the most images that you can make in a day are 20 on a free plan. So if you think you're going to make more than 20 and you need speed and you need privacy, then you need to go to a basic plan or a plus or a pro plan. That's all I'll say about that. 
Again, we discuss those terms of service, make sure and read them, understand what they say. Let's do a quick prompt and see what will it produce. One thing that I like to do is I like to use ChatGPT to help me create these prompts for Ideogram. So in this case, I said create a detailed prompt to be used by an AI image generator that shows a home podcasting studio in a bold title, Start Your Podcasting Journey. So let's see what the prompt is. Let's grab it. Let's go back over to Ideogram. Let's put in the prompt. Now can pick various formats. So for a blog banner, for example, the 16 by nine aspect ratio is a good one. But let's say you wanted to create something to promote your blog post, but you wanted it to be Pinterest ready. You could go with this uh, 9, uh, 16 aspect ratio, but we'll do this one instead of 16, 9. If you want to have it private, of course, you'd have to have a plan, a paid plan. So it's going to be public. Let's go ahead and generate this and see if it will actually give us this start your podcasting journey. I want to see if it's spelled correctly and looks right when it's created. So let's hit generate. It gives you an idea of where it is in the generation progress. Usually it's pretty fast. You know, I haven't waited a long, long time to get these. Uh, but of course, if you've got a paid plan, it's probably going to be faster. So this is why I like Ideogram, especially, you know, if I'm writing blog posts. If I was writing a blog post for my website, MikeShuey.com, start your podcasting journey. I mean, I would have to try this probably four, five, six times to get this to come up with this title in Dolly 3, for example. So this is why I like Ideogram. It does a really good job at taking text and rendering it correctly on your AI image. Uh, although I do like the look of this text better, you can see where it made a mistake. So even Ideogram's not perfect, but if I was going to try to do this in like Dolly 3, for example, so if I have a chat GPT plus plan where I've got Dolly 3 access, I've tried this before in the past and just had a heck of a time getting titles to come out right. So this is why I really love using Ideogram for some of these special images. And, you know, this really looks good. Yeah, the little windscreen piece here is sort of hanging out on its own. But for a blog post, for a banner, nobody's going to notice that. Just makes a really good image. So this is Ideogram. It's ideogram.ai. If you ever get stuck and you need to add some additional images to a blog post, it's free to use. Uh, if you want to keep your prompts personal, you don't want your images showing up in the public role of images, then you will need to go to a paid plan. And again, those subscription plans, really pretty reasonable starting at $7 a month. I don't have a paid plan. I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I just heard about this tool and I wanted to share it with you so you would have a chance to use it if you got stuck for some images. I hope you found this useful. And until next time, take care.